Hi there. Today we're going to be travelling to the Western Mariandu Resort in the Maldives. It's situated on Bar Atoll, which is a United Nations Biosphere Reserve, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Please remember to subscribe to my channel to receive pragmatic travel tips. We provide unbiased, unfiltered reviews by experienced travellers. The Mirindu Resort is managed by Western, which is part of the Marriott Group. It's a 30 minute flight from Male, the national capital of the Maldives, out to Bar Atoll. The flights themselves are a lot of fun in these twin otter seaplanes. You can see my other video on these, um, the link is up the top. The colour of the water really is that clear and blue, it's beautiful. Guests are met at the seaplane by the, uh, by the butler who will then check you into your overwater villa. Our villa is uh, right at the head of the fish in this diagram on the uh, on the left hand side there's a constant stream of seaplanes coming and going uh, usually in the afternoon but sometimes in the morning as well uh, as guests check in and check out most of the planes are these orange and white from trans maldivian airlines but there's the occasional other ones as well but they're all twin otters I think the thing that really stands out about the Maldives is the clear water. I think visibility must be something like 100 yards or 100 metres underwater and the lagoon is just crystal clear. There's multitudes of sea life. Uh, we saw dolphins as we were having breakfast, uh, lots of tropical fish, although the, there's a little more if you go off the atoll a little bit. Um, and uh, manta rays at particular times of year, uh, depending on the season. But the key thing is that it's all right there by the uh, overwater bungalow. So you can literally go off the bungalow into the crystal clear water. There's not a lot of coral just under the bungalows. Um, I guess it's all died off or something, but uh, there is a shelf. You can see the, the blue line here um, where there's a, a huge drop off and uh, the currents well up and means a lot of sea life there. One thing that did worry me a little bit while I was snorkeling was that the seaplanes kept going backwards and forth and where they land and take off is sometimes right next to the bungalow. So you'd see a situation where a seaplane could almost land on top of you as you're snorkeling. Anyway, it didn't seem to happen when we were there. and. Uh, I'm sure they have a system in place to stop that happening. I'm pretty sure there are about 10 arrivals and departures every day for the seaplanes and they can pretty well happen at any time. I love it when they rev up the engines and take off. Of course, things are much more sedate. The resort does conduct dive tours and snorkeling tours to other islands, but you can just go for a dip off the uh, off the bungalow, which we did here. A lot of the coral is um, is not really lively, but there's a lot of fish, and the upwell from the deep trench uh, generates a lot of sea life.
if you're not up to snorkeling, some of the bungalows have a glass panel or partially glass floor, so you can see all this through the floor of your bungalow. As well as the underwater sea life on the atoll, there's the, the jungle as well. And these are sandy islands with uh, lush tropical vegetation all over them. You can walk the length of the island in about half an hour and there's a couple of little laneways with nice shady areas as well. There are tropical flowers and all the lush vegetation you'd expect in the tropics. In case snorkeling and running around the island is not enough exercise for you, there's also a gym with all the uh, modern machines, etc. But there's no shortage of space on the island for um, outdoor activity, uh, plenty of beaches to run along, etc. There are a number of uh, restaurants with the resort. This is the Island Cafe where you have breakfast every day. And as I said before, there's we could see dolphins swim past of a morning on occasion. Can't guarantee it every day, of course. And then off to the left there is the Pearl, which is the upscale restaurant. We didn't actually eat there. Um, we ate here at the Island Cafe, and our favourite was Hawker. This is the, uh, the breakfast spread, pretty good. But this is our all-time favourite, Hawker, which has uh, Asian cuisine. And this is Riri our favourite chef, and he's going to make us the best chilli crab ever. that our dinner is ready minced uh, minced pork Thai minced pork with rice and the star of the show Singapore chili crab very delicious and I'm told actually better than the chili crab in Singapore comments below it's not sunny every day in paradise we were in the Maldives for about nine days, and one day it rained. This was in February, uh, so I think you'd expect some rain any time of year, but uh, it's mostly sunny and fine. If it is raining, uh, of course it's not cold because you rain on the tropics, and you get a little wet, but it's, uh, it's still lovely and warm. 
Here we are, chilling out at Hawker, waiting for the rain to pass. Most days though, are just beautiful, clear blue skies and warm water. We actually went to the Maldives for our wedding anniversary and the staff at the uh, Western were excellent. They uh, set up the, uh, the bed like this with um, happy anniversary. We were actually celebrating two years because we had to miss one year for COVID. But a really nice uh, uh, gesture from the staff. I'm sure it took them hours to do this and just in a matter of seconds, it was gone. Okay, time to leave the Western Mirandu for a flight back to Malay. Looks like uh, Malay is going to be the first stop, so unfortunately, we're not going to get many takeoffs and landings. And that's the end to our rather magnificent holiday. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and hit like if you appreciate my content. It really helps me out. Thanks.